Um, actually, I was talking to a comic book fan, a Batman fan, a really hardcore Batman fan, and he was telling me he wants Hush, and he was explaining how Hush yeah. would work so well. Hush would work well. It's just the idea of, again, people... I mean, Hush has been exploited all over the comic books these years, but Hush is a character that's just been introduced, and not everybody likes him. And he's not like the Joker, the Riddler, even, you know, people like uh, Two-Face, where it's universally... They have a story that people like, and you'll latch onto that story. Like, the Joker has the killing joke. Arguably, Riddler has, um, well, Riddler is more of a Silver Age kind of villain, so I guess it's a bunch of those kind of villains. Two Face has Long Halloween and all his other stories. You know, people like, uh, people like Black Mask, what does he have? He doesn't have a quintessential story, he has a bunch of little stories. I would actually be very fascinating if they actually go full circle and they use Ra's al Ghul as the main villain again. I don't think they're going to just because of the fact that people would get mad at them for doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but you brought up a good point. Wait, uh, we, I was talking about Ra's al Ghul. Like you said that before, um, something about, you know, Ra's al Ghul, uh, you never see him die. You see him close his eyes and the train crashes. And then that's what I think... That's my biggest pet peeve is everyone's like he's dead, and I'm like, well, he has the same skills as Batman. So is Batman dead? And plus, um, Batman says, I'm not going to kill you, but I'm not going to save you. Uh, And then there's just a split second where, you know, he just closes his eyes. Batman jumped out of that plane, uh, jumped out of the the train really easily with his cape and everything. Ra's al Ghul trained Batman. I'm pretty sure that Ra's al Ghul could find some way, if not anything else, put the Lazarus pit, uh, if they're going to use that, to um to get himself out. Yeah, but I mean, you you got to think about it this way, is that he has a way out of there. I'm pretty sure he didn't, I'm pretty sure he planned an escape route, because he knew Batman could have stopped him. He knew that it was a possibility. And he's either a very dumb villain that didn't set things up, or he had a very good plan. Yeah, and I don't think Ra's al Ghul will just straight up say, oh, okay, um, my plan was foiled, I'll just die now. Ra's al Ghul is not that kind of villain. Ra's al Ghul always says, okay, Batman and I are pretty smart, I'm going to think about what happens. Is In the comics, bringing this up again, is Ra's al Ghul, um, like, uh, I was talking to a Batman fan, he's telling me Ra's al Ghul is nothing like he is in the movie. Is he anything in the comics, in your opinion, to how he is in the movie? Um, he is... Well, the thing is, he didn't train Batman, and he didn't and not the training whole... Batman. I mean, more of the more of the guy who has a noble cause, but's doing it in the completely wrong sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, um, Russell Gould in the comics, he's not. A, I I never include him in the bad guys list. It's, I'm really always hesitant because he helps Batman. He's not a totally bad guy. The biggest thing about Russell Gould that's bad is that he has ninja assassins around with him, and he is willing to work with villains. Um, I'm. His 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 um what is it? His uh, motives always kind of change. Like I think the one time that he was really just straight up evil is uh, a comic called Tower of Babel, where he takes Batman's notes, how to defeat each Justice League member, and actually uses it to take them down. Uh, but that's the most evil thing he's really done. I mean, he's uh he's helped bring back Jason Jason Todd because you know he uh, Batman was becoming all crazy and schizo, so he brought Jason Todd back. Rather, you know, Talia did it, but still. Um, so I don't think he's totally evil. He still has yeah. motives, but he doesn't carry them out well. 